Hi guys, um, so now I want to show you how to take your reference images and put them on planes for using in uh, Maya to essentially to trace over uh, to get an accurate model. So the first thing to do um, is to create a new project folder. This is really important so that your images come with you when you change to a different computer. So click on file go project window, um, make a new project, uh, for example, um, dsdn132 underscore project2. Uh, cool. And then put where you want to put this folder, in this case I, I want to do the desktop, and uh, click accept. Great, so this created a new project folder. Now what you want to do is just, you know, an explorer or finder, depending on, you know, what you're using. You want to find your um, images. In my case, uh, it's in this, this, this one here. Um, I've got Unomi's front, side, and top. I want to copy these images. Uh, Command C in my case, and I want to go to my project folder, DSCM132 project2, um, and I want to go into images and I'll make a new folder here called uh, You Know Me Cup. Right, cool, and I'm going to paste them in here, paste in my images. So again, this is really important because this, this is going to um, keep your images with you wherever you go. Cool, so now I'm going to uh, save my blank scene. Uh, I'm going to save it and um, uh, I'm going to go to workspace root. This basically takes me into my, my folder um, and I'm going to save it in here. Um, uh, I'm going to save the file as uh, you know me underscore cup, right? Um, so you don't need to make a different project folder for each of your objects that you're modeling. You can just make a new scene. Um, so if I save my you know me cup scene in here and go save as, continue. Cool, now I'm all set up to um, start importing my images into my scene. So the first thing to do is tap the space bar. Tapping the space bar brings up these perspective views. So I've got my top view, my front view, and my side view, and my perspective view. I can hover over any of these and tap the space bar, and it will kind of zoom into that one. If I tap the space bar again, it'll go back out. So you can kind of navigate around your particular views with using that. Cool, so now what I want to do is I want to bring in my images as reference planes. And Maya 2017 has a really handy shortcut for that. It used to be a bit of a faff of a process, but uh, now it's fairly easy. So in one of your views, in my case, I'm going to do it in my top view first. Click on View. Go down to Image Plane. Import Image. Now, again, we want to click on our workspace route. That takes us into our project folder. And then we want to go to Images, um, which is where we saved our You Know Me Cup images, You Know Me Cup. Um, and because I'm doing this in the top view, I'll select my top view. Cool, so that's brought that image in um, as a reference image. So we'll do that for the other two views. I'm doing the front view now, view, image, plane, uh, import image. And go to your workspace route, images, you know me cut front. And then we'll do the same for the side view, view, image, plane, import image. Navigate to my saved images, you know me side, boom, oh, great, so now I have my three images um, kind of brought in, uh, that's great, but they don't quite match up, like if I look in my perspective view and kind of rotate it so that um, we're kind of halfway looking um, uh, at the side and front view, you'll notice that they don't quite match up down the bottom or up the top, um, so what I'll do is I'll click on this particular plane, the smaller plane, um, well, I could click on either and resize them to fit, but I'm going to resize this one. I'm going to hit the um, the R button, which is resize. And I'm just going to kind of make this a bit bigger, um, and then I'm going to move it down a bit, so hitting the W key, and then just move it down. So now you'll notice it matches up nicely at the top and nicely at the bottom. 
uh, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Um, now we need to look at the top view. Now we've got this kind of this orange orange blob um, on the you know front and the side views, which is great. Um, so we can see that this this direction is pointing forwards, uh, but actually our our top view is 90 degrees off. So what that means is I'm going to have to rotate this by 90 degrees. Yours might not be, um, but but again you've kind of got to look at it sensibly and be like, oh, this is this is wrong. You can see that the size just are no way near matching up because um, this particular to axis is a lot more squashed than the other one. So I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. So the way to rotate it by exactly 90 degrees is to start rotating it, kind of rotate it roughly into place, um, and then if you go up to the top left corner, click on this channel box slash layer editor tab. If that is not there, so for example if you've got something else like this attribute editor and this isn't there, um, like for example this, it's just that tab isn't there, just click on this button in the very top left and that will bring it up, the channel box and layer editor. Um, and you'll notice that there's this thing here that says that says negative 83.7, we probably want to make that negative 90, um, right, so that it's exactly 90. You'll notice it just popped into place, which is great. Cool, now all we've got to do is match up uh, the, the um, extremities of the top view with the extremities of the, the front um, and side views. So the way I'll do that is I'll get the move tool, I'll move this over a bit, and I probably need to scale it up a little as well um, so that those match up. Because we did a lot of this scaling in Photoshop beforehand, this isn't going to be too much um, of a hassle. If you don't do it in Photoshop beforehand, um, you've got basically you've got a lot more work to do here. Okay, and you'll notice that the side view is more or less more or less all right. Maybe we'll scale it up a tiny bit more so that the side view nicely matches up. Again, we'll look at the front view. Notice I'm not matching up here, but but that's because at this point in the cup. Um, this this part's narrower, so I'm kind of matching it up to um, the or trying to match it up to the top here, uh, we, so we can scale it in a bit, um, uh, move it over a little, scale it down a bit more, mm. and you'll see now. You know we're we're kind of more or less roughly. Um, roughly um, in place. So now if we look at this, yeah, maybe again we'll just kind of try and get the best we can. Um, and now, now it looks looks pretty good. It looks like that's matching up with that, that's matching up with that, um, and the, the side view is matching up as well, which is great. Cool. So now we've created and kind of scaled these reference planes into place. What we can do is we can uh, move them out of the way for our modeling. So if you grab the top plane, you only want to move the top plane downwards. You don't want to bump it off, off its center. You just want to move it in the y-axis. So just grab the y-axis and move it down far out of the way. You'll notice that you can still see it in this top orthographic view in exactly the same place. Um, if we were to bump it uh, on either of the other axes, that would be a problem. So we just use this, this tool here. Again, likewise, we're going to move this one out far away. We're going to move this one out far away. And cool, that's our reference plane set up, which is, which is fantastic. Um, all we need to do now is kind of put these on a separate layer so that uh, we, we can't bump them, because it would be easy when you're modeling to select this and accidentally move it, which would be a pain. Um, cool, so the way we do that is, again, we go to the channel box slash layer editor. So this, this, this tab here, again, if that's not showing, you can click that button. And we want to create a new layer, so this is the, the layers panel, this, this one at the bottom. We'll click this little one with a plus, and that makes us a new layer. We'll double click on that and rename it to Ref. Cool. Now, to put these objects in this layer, we select them all, and we right click on this, and we select Add Selected Objects. Cool. So now these three objects are in this layer. <coughs> The one last thing we've got to do is actually tell Maya that this is a reference plane. So this third box here, after the V and the P, we want to click uh, twice 
So it'll go to T, then it'll go to R. R means reference. So now if I deselect the objects, I can't actually select them. I can't click on them, I can't move them, which is perfect. That means we're not going to bump them while we're modeling. Um, if you want to move them again, you just click that again and you can you can select it right but then after you've done that just remember to turn it back to reference if you want to hide this layer um, these layers to for example once you've been modeling a bit um, if you if you just want to look at the model without that you can just click that V there for view you know and and it'll it'll hide them or or show them um, uh, cool and that is the reference planes all set up